Hi, my name is David Struzeski. I'm the CEO of Sound Planning Group. Um, if you're watching this video today, I'm guessing that you're at some point planning on retiring. Now the question is, are you ready to retire? See, in order to be able to answer that question, you need to be able to define where you are in the retirement planning journey. In order to do that well, well, you need a roadmap. So what we've done is we've built and refined a process that we call ready to retire, and we have this roadmap established with it. Now this roadmap that, that we're gonna be building is all designed with the idea of bringing you the confidence that you're gonna need for the road ahead, the clarity to understand what you're doing and why, also the control, knowing that you have the ability to understand what's taking place and respond, at least in a timely manner. You know, there's no such thing as a crystal ball on wherever the world's going. But most financial advisors today spend the vast majority of their time on what we would notice is our second step, investment planning. You know, you need more than a pie chart as it relates to your retirement plan. I don't know if you're aware of that. The pie chart's super important, we gotta be invested, but you need to have a real plan behind that pie chart in order for it to be real. So what we actually do is we start with the end in mind. Now the goal here is to begin with an income plan. What's that gonna do? It's gonna maximize your social security. It's gonna look at an individual uh, itemized spending plan. It's gonna uh, talk about the required rate of return that we need to get when we get these first three steps together. The second thing we need to do is we need to define how to ride bulls and tame bears. We need an investment strategy that's gonna be there for the long haul. That's gonna help us to be as efficient as we can, but also mathematically, give us higher probabilities of winning. Anyone interested in that? Of course. Uh, tax planning is important. Now, I'm not talking about getting information in by April 15th. I'm talking about the next 30 plus years of your life. What accounts and what amounts are you gonna be drawing from each and every year in order to create the most tax optimal income plan for the rest of your life? Now, step number four, this one's probably a surprise to many, but your healthcare planning and long-term care planning is obviously very important. You know, HR is no longer gonna be there for you to answer those questions. Uh, in my county where I preside, there's over 100 unique options available. Which one's gonna be right for you? And how are you gonna stay up on that on an annualized basis as this is such a moving target? You know, and long-term care is one of these things that people say, oh, I heard that that's so expensive, or I don't know if I qualify, or you know, I don't know if we've actually even looked into it. Well, in our state, we've got a tax now for long-term care if you're an employee. And so this is a very important thing for us to be understanding because, hey, this is gonna, this is gonna be a really important part of our lives. We can do the best financial plan in the world. We don't get this part right. Guess what? It's all on the table to be spent into, into a road away. Uh, number five is real estate planning. Whether you've got a primary residence or you might be someone who has some, uh, some secondary properties as well as rentals or maybe uh, a highly appreciated beach house of some sort. Real estate has some wonderful tax components to it. Real estate is also one of these areas that needs to be incorporated inside of a retirement plan because of the tax uh, available nature of those dollars and uh, the fact that it represents a significant portion of many people's retirement planning. So why would we want, we want that avoided, right? Family planning, one of you predeceases the other, we gotta have these plans in place. It can't just be a big surprise and go, oh shoot, what do we do? You know, so there's a legal component to that. How are we gonna be transferring assets to the next generation? Do dollars go away? One social security is reduced, you know, uh, and so on. And then lastly, uh, client asset review and evaluation. How are we taking care of things on a year by year basis? So for folks that sit down uh, with my team members and go through this retirement roadmap process, we're gonna help you to first of all, establish who you are. And so we have a personal retirement profile that we wanna to help to create for you to determine what are we trying to accomplish. Uh, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna evaluate a maximization strategy for social security and uh, the difference between uh, getting it right and wrong on your income plan as well and show you that there could be hundreds of thousands of dollars if you're like most families or millions of dollars if you're like many of the families that we work with in tax savings, specifically in retirement. See, it's not about how big of a return can you get in my portfolio? Well, hopefully we can do a good job with that, but no one has a crystal ball. The point, according to Vanguard, is that if you can begin to manage some of these other things, you can reduce the rate of return needed, or you can actually get a compounded better rate of return over a lifetime of someone's portfolio by minimizing taxes and doing some of those things. So with that being said, wherever you are on your retirement planning journey, maybe you've just done step one. Maybe you've done a couple of these steps. Maybe you have some confidence in some of these. 
Maybe you're saying, you know what? We've retired and we haven't figured all this out. Wherever you are in the journey, the point is that we believe that you deserve a real retirement plan. You deserve a real roadmap. You know, the road to life is gonna be this. It's gonna be up, down, there's gonna be a lot of, of, of elements that are gonna be facing us. The question is, how are you gonna have the confidence, the clarity, and the control that you're gonna need to succeed for the road ahead? With that being said, look forward to seeing you here soon. Thank you.